everyone let us discuss this example in this example we have this series and we have to check whether that series is convergent or not so let us let me write the series first so what we have we have series summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon n n plus 1 okay so the same series we can express in different way also let us see what we can do here summation n running from 1 to infinity what will i do i will adjust numerator so 1 can be replaced as n plus 1 minus n right so if you solve it n and minus n will get cancelled to each other and we will have 1 again so numerator 1 i have expressed in this way let me write a denominator n into n plus 1 so let me divide separately let us see what will happen this bracket upon denominator n plus 1 n plus 1 will get cancelled 1 by n minus n upon denominator so n n will get cancelled and we will have 1 upon n plus 1 that means given series can be expressed in this way also what will i do we will consider a sequence of partial sum since we know that if sequence of partial sum is convergent we say the series is convergent and if the sequence of partial sum is divergent we say series is divergent so let us consider a sequence of partial sum let sn be a sequence of partial sum okay i am considering a sequence of partial sum sn it means that is or therefore we can write therefore sn is equal to sn that means sum of first n terms so let us add first n terms so if i put n is equal to 1 what will we have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 if i put n is equal to 1 let us put n is equal to 2 now if i put 2 here we will have 1 by 2 minus 2 plus 1 3 let me put n is equal to 3 here so if i put 3 here 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and so on okay and the nth term will be 1 by n minus 1 upon n plus 1 tell me can we cancel any uh, terms here yes definitely this minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will get cancelled to each other minus 1 by 3 1 by 3 will get cancelled minus 1 by 4 1 by 4 will get cancelled and so on so what i want to say all terms will get cancelled except first term and the last term right so therefore our sn will be 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1. So let us apply limit n tends to infinity to Sn and let us check whether the, it is convergent or not. So yes, we have some space here. Let us use, right? So let me consider limit n tends to infinity. Consider limit n tends to infinity Sn, which is equal to limit n tends to infinity. What is our Sn? This one, let me put it here. 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 so if you apply the limit so 1 is okay 1 is constant if it will be as it is minus if i put infinity here so 1 upon infinity is 0 so that's why value of this this term will be 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so therefore we say sequence of partial sum sn is convergent and converges to 1 so let me write therefore sequence sn is convergent and converges to 1 okay so sequence of partial sum is convergent therefore given series is also convergent and converges to 1 so therefore given series is convergent and converges to 1 okay so same thing we can write in this way so therefore summation n running from 1 to infinity what is our series uh, 1 upon n n plus 1 it is convergent converges to 1 so its value is 1 okay so this is a final answer so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye